is exclusive alpha footage and you know what he experienced in alpha so we're gonna check that out right now and it'll give a breakdown of a lot of things we're gonna, he's gonna talk about the drag theater about dragon riding um, the the different zones and uh, the story and all that so we're gonna check out all that stuff and then we will also watch a video specifically on dragon flying because dragon flying it's not just falling with style if you watched any Twitch streams yesterday, Dragon Flying is a completely new way to get around in the world. It is like 50 times faster than regular flying, and it's it looks 50 times more fun, honestly. The physics of behind Dragon Flying is great, and I'm gonna stop talking because we're gonna see all that stuff. But man, am I excited to do this stuff? What is the group in custom? Uh, no, no, it's not in custom. It's in dungeons and raids. It's in raids. It's in raids. Yeah. If you go into uh, uh, pre-made groups and you click on raids, uh, this is where we are doing heroic Anduin. Heroic Anduin. All right, let me let me pause this music and let's get this video started. Platinum Wow is always good stuff, always fun. Let me make sure it's at 1080p, full volume. All right, here we go. I got exclusive access to World of Warcraft's new expansion Dragonflight, and I'm going to tell you all about the new race, class, zones, characters, and lore. I got a lot to talk about, so let's jump right into it. I started my adventure by making a Drakthir, Bartholomew, and there are lots and lots what and lots of customization options. Yeah. Almost an overwhelming amount, and that's for a good reason. The armor you equipped... Basically, no two, dra no two Drakthir will be, will be the same. What's cannot up, be seen in your dragon form. All of the armor customization is done when you create your character. Instead, the armor you equipped in transmog can only be seen in your humanoid form. But thankfully, oh. this form is something you'll see all the time. It's not like a worgen where you have to manually turn it on and off. You'll have an option to transform back into a human after combat and even cast some spells while in that form. Also, whenever you mount up, you turn into your humanoid form. Drakthir can only be one class, and that is the new class, Evoker. Evoker. The gameplay for this new class is advanced. So advanced that Blizzard has you write the word advanced when you create the character. <laughs> Evokers yes, are a Andy. caster class, and they have a very wide variety of abilities. They're very yeah, squishy. Check out, check out these like animations, like the cone abilities and stuff. This is all new stuff. No class has anything like this yet, and it's very cool. And I think the fact that these this is like all happening for this class, we're going to see it go to other classes as well. All of these like frontal cone casts and like the charge up abilities, the flying abilities, uh, very cool stuff. So if you're fighting a group of mobs, you'll need to- Will I be making a Drakthir? Yeah, of course. I'll check them out. I'm not going to main a Drakthir. I'm going to main a Death Knight till the day I die, most likely. But, um, I, yeah, I will definitely make one. I want to see what it looks like and play a little bit. Constantly sure. root them, push them back, and maintain your distance or you'll die very quickly. Look at that root. Did you guys see how he casted that? Badass. Look how he cast the root right here. Look at that cone in front of him. Boom. Charging it up. He's charging up his fire breath. Look at that. Look at those casts, man. Very mobile. Very cool. I mean, look look at the way he charged. He goes the flight. Check it out. He, he puts it in front of him, and then he clicks it. And then boom, he's flying and blasting. Awesome stuff. Yeah, very Demon Hunter-esque. Now, would I main this class? No, probably not. It honestly feels a bit clunky when first picking it up, but per Yeah, are there an uh, all their animations are huge. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps indeed. if I had more experience, it would flow a bit better. But one of the By cool the way, things about Dragon is stream, their ability to use their new racial, which is a dragon riding ability that just uses themselves. And yeah, let's talk about the best feature that has ever been added to WoW in years. Dragon flying, man. Dragon flying is freaking sick. It is so badass. If you watched anybody dragonfly yesterday, you realize how uh, how intense it is. I, I mean, I'm sure doing it yourself is even more. But just like the way it looks and the way it feels, I think it's going to completely change the way we, the way we get Ever around the Ever since world. flying mounts came out in TBC, they have been incredibly boring. Instead of flying, it's more like swimming through the air. With this new True. form of flight, there is physics, 
a smooth sense of movement, and most importantly, you actually have to interact with the terrain to get from point A to point B. Dragon riding is more like gliding than flying. You can descend quickly to gain momentum and use mount abilities to gain speed. This means that mounting up and trying to scale up a mountain vertically will not work, but when descending, you will go super, super fast. Yeah, really much, watching this flying way, way faster than um, than regular flying. I actually heard a stat yesterday was something like getting from one point A to point B where it would take six minutes on a regular flying mount. If you're using your dragon flying properly, it would take like a minute and a half. It was like crazy. Flying doesn't do it way justice. Faster. You have to play it yourself to understand how nice it gotcha. really feels. Slain, gotcha. By the way, look at the webbing on the wings. I love the way the new mounts, all their webbing like moves while they're flying. Uh, the speed with which he's moving, check out like how fast things are going by. He is, he is fucking flying. Literally and figuratively, he is, he is flying through the map. Sam, could you invite me, please? Your group is not showing up. Should you? Yes. Are you at least item level 260? That might be why And not. it's so great, I what wish was it was that? the only Wait a form minute. of flying, what but I What the hell was that? And it's so great, I wish it was... I was saying, what the hell? ...the only form of flying, but I think some of the older zones are not designed for this type of flight. Probably not. And also, you can't use your dragon mounts while in the old world. Yeah, that's But you be can a tough use one. the Drakthir racial flying. So I went all the way up to the top of Mount Hyjal and flew off to see how far I could get. With the Drakthir flying, I soared all the way to Dustwillow Marsh in 3 minutes and 44 seconds. I tried to fly to the exact same location Look. with a normal flying mount, and that took 6 minutes and 20. It's like half the time. He's like double speed. 6 seconds. So give I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool direct theory ability. That's a pretty cool ability to literally be able to fly anywhere twice as fast as anyone else. Given the perfect conditions, I think it's even faster than a normal flying mount. Okay, back to the Dragonflight stuff. The one zone I had access to was the Azure Span. Yes, I tried to go to the other zones, but they kicked me out. And it's beautiful. Very reminiscent of Grizzly Hills, and I cannot emphasize how big it really is. It's huge. It's the biggest zone in all of the Dragon Isles, and I really prefer these types of sprawling zones with empty so breathing space it's compared so to the pretty. tight, claustrophobic zones we got. Very Grizzly Hills Northrend-esque. I was watching it the whole time. Now, we don't have the music yet. One thing they haven't dropped in Alpha yet is the music, and of course, that just adds so much more ambiance to the zone. But uh, just watching people ride around in it and quest in it yesterday was amazing. You can also tell the terrain in this zone was specifically designed for dragon riding with its descending slopes and sharp cliff faces. One of my favorite parts when playing was during the main quest where I got to jump off of this giant spire and soar across the whole zone to get to my next location. My favorite questing so hubs cool. in this zone have got to be the dragon scale expedition camps because this is a horde and alliance organization so you get a wide variety of races all interacting with each other, all having their own unique little quirks, Cross it's action, just a baby. great fun time. I mean, there's this one quest where I was watching a Hearthstone match with a what? gnome where there was a ghost of a dragon man that was battling a Pandaren, and I was one of the cards. Details. I'm telling you guys, the details in Dragonflight, from mounts to armor to, uh, to terrain, it's, it's unbelievable. Look at, there's a freaking Hearthstone battle in World of Warcraft, and it's animated. That looks like it's Jaina. That's freaking insane. No, I did not pull that out of my ass. This is this is alpha. If this amount of details in alpha, imagine when it's live. This freaking crazy. There are other factions and races you'll find in your adventures in this zone, though. There are Furbolgs who got a new facelift, and they are harnessing the powers of the elements, and it's corrupting them. Very furball thing to do. Tuscar, there are a lot of Tuscar in this zone, and their the village Tuscar. in Ascara is one of the best parts of the zone because they got Big Canuk making a giant ass pot of soup. We got oh. this dude over here drinking the soup. We got an instance portal, maybe for a Tuscar dungeon. We Pretty got cool. otters, and when you say goodbye to a Tuscar, they say, And that is just great. Ugar Glocky caught to you, my. 
Yeah, the Tuscar are going to be a playable race, no doubt in my mind. That level of detail and variation in the models doesn't happen unless they're going to be a playable friend. race. And we'll be returning to this village later in the video. There are also no these giants, mind. but they seem to be in early development oh, with wow. their names, and there are no quests associated with them. Pretty cool. There are gnolls, giants, which though. are another highlight of the zone. Their new models look disgustingly fantastic, and they make cool noises. <laughs> And while doing quests here, you discover that they have been practicing decay magic. And near the back of their base camp, there is a huge empty area with an incense portal. So perhaps there might be a null dungeon as a well. Null dungeon? And cool. lastly, since we are null in the Dragon Isles, quest. there are a lot of dragons. There's dragon spawn, dragon frogs, and dragon men with yeah, this but... voice. Good day to you. <laughs> the main ch <laughs> That's definitely an alpha thing. Uh, what did I want to see? The, the, the dragon snail or whatever. Or the dragon frog. Definitely going to be a mountable thing. And I, look at that. It's a frog with dragon horns and dragon teeth and dragon eyes. I want it. ...and dragon men with this voice. Good day to you. The main chunk of the story is from the main quest of the zone that is very, very early in development. There is no music, no voice acting, no sound effects, it's alpha. no cinematics. Instead of cinematics, you have Captain Exposition, who explains the cinematics through text. That is how alpha this alpha is. So I'm just going to summarize the story. It's Definitely about Caligos alpha. trying to reunite the Blue Dragonflight, but a group of proto-dragons called the Primalists are trying to stop him and all of the Kirintor mages. Oh, cool. The Primalists' main motivation Spoilers. as an antagonist is to stop mortals from using magic, since okay. they can't be trusted with such power. He's back. Which is... The exact same plot as Malagos from Wrath of the Lich King, but instead of blue dragons, it's proto dragons. True. Also, Sindragosa is back in the story. Sindragosa? Well, the storyline is pretty big. Sindragosa? What? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's the ghost of Sindragosa, I guess. Because we all know what happened to her. She was in North Back Ren. in the story. And a very cool Overall, cinematic. The storyline is. Pretty basic. What's up, Tan but Man? It's really hard How's to give any sort of judgment when it's in such a bare bones state at the moment. Now, for the most harrowing part of my adventure in the Isles. Here at the Tuscar village of Iskara, there are two turtle boats you can ride on. Oh, cool. You know me, I love public transportation. So I just needed to ride on one of these bad boys and see where it takes me. Wasn't so I got on the one who died in Wrath? Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's the one that gets raised in the cinematic, and we fight her in uh, in ICC. Yes. That's Floating away awesome. just to keep going further and further and further away from the Dragon Isles, to the point where I couldn't even see it anymore. What, what was hell? even eerier is that this is the first time I ever heard music during my time playing. Maybe I'll land next to that island? Nope. And boom! I'm in Northrend, which makes sense thematically. I mean, this is where we first met the Tuscar in Northrend, so this is pretty cool. But a neat little detail to the zone. Now I'm assuming I'm just gonna float back to the Dragon Isles, and boom! Now I'm next to the Broken Shore in Legion. What What the hell is going on? This Why is the turtle, turtle taking ass. me all over these pl- Next thing I know, I'm in Kul Taras! Wow, I'm just getting a world tour here, but the views are less than spectacular. And my what the only hell? friend to enjoy this with is my driver, Bex. And I've been on this boat for what? And now I'm in Vashir! And this thing's this literally just world really hopping. Me. I was stuck here. My hearthstone was set the storm wind. And on the PTR, there was currently a bug where you could not travel back to the Dragon Isles if you teleport off of the continent. So oh, I'm forced shit. to endure. Beck's wild ride for God knows how long. He was no longer my guide. He was my jailer. The next thing I know, I'm in Voldoon of all places, where Bex decides he wants to drive as slowly as possible. His dark, unforgiving Don't eyes looking ahead at all times. Please, please, please take me, just take me back to the Dragon Isles. Please. This please. guy literally went on a world tour. Oh my god. Oh, no! Oh. No, please! Come on! Oh. Now, I'm in Pandaria, and Bex has completely given up on driving through scenic areas. Here we get a cliff face, and then this... 
<laughs> the man just wanted to take a ride on a turtle mount. He just wanted to go on a turtle boat for a little bit, take a seating view of the Dragon Isles. <laughs> and he's gone through like six expansions now. <laughs> this is my view of the Taolong Steps. I want to get off of Beck's wild ride. Okay, come on, come on. No, no! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Where is he going now? I'm in AQ now?! What the fuck?! At this point, over an hour has passed, and I have gone insane. I've spent over an hour on this godforsaken turtle, and I don't think I'll ever see my wife and kids again. That's literally cracking me up. Screw you, Beck, and your fat ass turtle. <laughs> Did he but ever get back? He showed me mercy and finally returned me to the Dragon Isles. Uh, okay. Now, there are two of these turtles, but <laughs> I really didn't have a lot of time to play this alpha. So I really don't know oh where the other God, one would take funny. me. So, uh, sorry, guys. Hell Just yeah, kidding. Warlock. I got on the other turtle, oh. and after a slow 10 minute ride, he took me to this empty island. Oh, okay. And I'm stranded here. Well. Oh. Ooh, Gara Glocky caught to you, my friends. See you later. Yeah, oh my god, that was funny. Oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that was fucking hilarious. The the journey from expansion to expansion. What the fuck? It was stuck in time. <laughs> I love uh I love uh, Platinum Wild's video. Uh, I love Platinum Wild's video. Yeah, Beck's the jailer. Yeah, that was uh, he's the jailer the whole time. That's it. We we figured out the lore. That was freaking hilarious. Uh <laughs>